So we're back in Hunting Sim 2 again today, and we're back out here in Texas because, as I mentioned last time, I wanted to do a hunt where we pretty much just focus on trying to get credits, and I really just want to get some new equipment, so binoculars in particular, so we don't have to be doing this where we're using the gun to just figure out what animals are in the distance. And also, I want to get new clothing. I don't know that it actually affects, like, how well animals detect you or anything. Stay and don't make a sound. But I like at least the degree you get of character customization with that. So that's what I want to work on. Hopefully we can get some bison. Maybe we can even get some trophies. I don't know if this was a mule deer or a whitetail, but there's definitely animals out on this map that we could find trophies of as we do this. So hopefully we can get some of that as well. Well, that's not what we heard. Wait, there's a deer over there. There are two pronghorn here. Now I only have one pronghorn tag remaining. So, I mean, these are the same horns. I guess we'll just get this guy. And then maybe we can figure out... I don't know if that deer back there was the one we heard at first. It almost couldn't have been, so... I think there's probably another deer somewhere near us. To be honest, now that I'm thinking of it, that might not have been the best decision, because now if we find a mature pronghorn, we can't even shoot it, but... I wanted to get that license done so we can actually buy a new license when we get back to the lodge. And at least we'll get some credits out of that because I did spend pretty much the rest of the remaining credits we had on licenses for small games. So if we see any bobcat, cougar, or coyotes this time, we can actually take them out. And I figured that'll help us actually earn credits in the long run. I don't know if that's the first deer we heard or the second deer, or maybe those were the same one. But that's just a little whitetail buck. And I think I'm starting to learn we need to lead them a bit more than we have been. Yeah, that worked way better. So what I keep doing is thinking that we're really not that far away and they're just walking. So I pretty much just placed the shot right where I wanted to hit, but it seems like the bullets are maybe a little slower moving than you'd expect. And kind of putting it in the shoulder at a walking pace seems to be a lot better. So that is hopefully going to be something I can remember. And if we can have the dog find this guy really quickly. This, by the way, is the whitetail, like, skin, if you want to call it that. The one that I would like to have in the lodge. So if we ever get a mature whitetail, again, the same size as the one that we got in the first video. Well, the first video since we restarted. I would definitely keep that one because it just looks a lot more realistic to me. And again, I, I'm i recording these in advance. So maybe you guys know if that technically is a pie ball and you will have told me by now. But at least for what I know at the moment, I think it's just another common skin. And I'd like to get one that looks a bit more realistic in my mind. Ooh, so that will be our first opportunity to bring down a cougar. So we have to use the 243 for this. And the only way I can actually know the difference is with the reticle. So I got to be careful to remember if I'm going to buy like the same weapon stocks to get different, uh, like completely different looking reticles. But that's probably three or 400 meters. So we're going to try to scoot in a little bit closer and just kind of keep him spotted so we don't lose him in the brush. The thing is, losing him in the brush is really easy as soon as I get off this hill. I'm thinking we're getting probably close enough to take that shot. And again, we gotta lead him decent. Ah, we hit him, but we got a white hit marker, so that's not gonna bring him down. Did he? Okay, I thought he stopped in there, but I think the kind of tracking thing for the spotting stopped working for a sec. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on where he goes and try to get in maybe a little closer this time. At least now that he's out of that brush, it might be a little easier. Oh, alright, I think that's him. Let's see if we can hit him a little better. That time we got him. I don't know what that death animation was, but... I kind of thought he was going to run off a little more than that. I don't know if they flip around when you shoot them. I'm going to have to like look at that when I edit, because I didn't look close enough to know what happened. But I think you only get one cougar tag, so... This guy is just a young one, and certainly one will sell, but yeah, that is going to be the only one of those we get for the hunt, so I suppose good that he's one worth selling, because that is what we're trying to work on, but I think we may go here and then possibly fast travel. I don't have the campsite down on this side, and I know I've seen one over there, so maybe even we'll just hunt our way towards that. Ooh, those are fresh bison tracks. All right, we are going to get Such a good jacks on those, hopefully. Why can I not use the track thing? Maybe he has to not be standing on a track, but yeah. We're going to follow those, because that is what we need. 
So it's another male. I actually haven't seen a female bison yet. But we almost messed this up last time. So let's see if we can do a little better. Alright, first shot a kill shot this time. So we're definitely not losing out on credits. And we may actually, since he's right by this campsite, just head back. Because we need another pronghorn license, another cougar license. Bison we won't need because we have the, like, infinity tags for them. And... I felt like I filled one other one. I could go look for sheep real quick because we only have one more tag left for them and they're pretty easy to find. So maybe we'll go try to fill that first, but yeah, I was hoping we'd find one of those fairly quickly so we can like go back to the outpost and maybe get new stuff. And I think that's gonna be the plan maybe once we get our sheep tag filled. And he is just a young one. I actually thought of that right after I finished talking about it. Had he been a mature one, I would have actually kept him for the lodge but that one's gonna go to credits and I mean I find a ton of sheep I think it's at this campsite so let's fast travel there all right I mean I came from there and I guess somehow I got past the sheep but we'll scoot down there and make sure we get into range and hopefully that can just be an easy shot and we can head back and get more tags that was actually good that it called, because I could have missed it going through there. But that is exactly what we needed, so... Wait, what's that now? Okay. Whitetail, which we actually have a tag for, so maybe we'll get that too. I think we have two more Whitetail tags, so that wouldn't complete that license, but... If we can go and find that, I guess we'd take that too. And actually, for once, not a mature bighorn, just a young one. But perfect for our purposes and can we figure out where that whitetail got to that actually worked pretty well I thought we just come up to the campsite here and have a decent vantage point I guess there's two that's like a different skin than the one we shot even because he's a lot more light colored I have to think the one that called first is actually that first one which was smaller but I want to make sure because when we first saw it, it was so far away I do wonder if it's the one we're seeing there and I want to make sure we're not missing out on a big one which is fairly close so I think we ought to be okay we just got to make sure we get eyes on both of them but I kind of want to shoot the second one if this guy's not huge and ah man he actually is decent I think we have to shoot him at least first and then maybe, if we can see where he goes to, we can get this guy too. Alright, nice. Both are hit pretty well. I think both are actually hit back a bit. They are going to both go down. Maybe we'll try to help this guy along. Well, if we can. I don't know if we hit that and I don't want to ruin it, so I guess we're just going to leave it at that and start tracking. I don't know if that could be a mature one or not, but I feel like that might be the same rack as the one we have mounted. And he is mature, so I actually can remember the score of the whitetail last time was 247. So if he's the same score or better, we're keeping that one because I like the fur on that one better. To be honest, this might be a mature one as well. It didn't look as big to me. Such a good dog. But that one's just adult, so at least we don't have to worry about maybe him being higher scoring, but... We have a little run up to the tent again. Now we can fast travel back and we have like five licenses to buy again. So a lot of the credits we're getting are going to go towards new licenses. So we should be selling everything that's not that one whitetail. And that's the first one we shot. That's our cougar. That's our bison. The bighorn. Uh, This whitetail scores zero. The second one's 236. I thought it was maybe a shot placement thing. I'm honestly not sure why. Should we keep that one? I don't know. I think we're just going to sell it for credits. We can get another mature whitetail at some point. I'm sure. But yeah, I don't know why he doesn't actually have a score. There was something that just called out there, but we're basically out of licenses. So I think we'll worry about that later. So we have 10,000 credits. I think the... Uh, Cougar was actually worth a ton as well. I didn't look. But that's the only other license we need for there. 
Now, I want to make sure we have enough by the end of this to get licenses in Colorado, but I think we're going to be okay. Elk's expensive, bear, and moose are expensive, and cougar again. But I think we're good to buy binoculars and clothing this time, so we'll go ahead and get the binoculars first. And I'll keep track of the clothing. I want to make sure we have at least like two to 3,000 left, but let's see what we have here. I really like this camo. There's a jacket, pants, and a hat that are all this. I'm just a little bit worried that this backpack is going to bother me because it's not the same type of camo, and there's at least really similar for that. But I think we kind of had that in the early playthrough we did. So just to do it differently, we are going to get this kind, and we got to go back for the hat, which would be this one. We'll get pants, and we're still, like, way above the minimum. So we can even get gloves and... Uh, boots, but as far as gloves go, I don't think there's that exact camo type, unless I missed it. Yeah, there's none that are the exact same, so I think we're just going to go with these since it's browning along with everything else that we're wearing, and I did just equip, like, what we're going to have so we could kind of see it, and I think that looks fine. And again, there's no actual camo boots, and what do we actually have? I mean, are they black normally? Let me go check. You can do that in here, by the way. It's like this kind of back room. You can change uh, if you want to start morning, afternoon, or evening for your hunts. And then over on this side, you can do your clothing. But normally we have brown. Honestly, that looks better than the black. So I think we're set. That is another cougar. So right now, Jack is actually tracking another bison. And he's doing a pretty decent job of it. It's fresh tracks. And I want to make sure he stays with that. Because, I mean... Mainly right now, I'm worried about trying to get new trophies for the lodge, because we're pretty okay on credits. But, number one, we still need a mature bison, so that's one side of it. And the other side is, additional credits like that are a huge bonus. Plus, actually, this cougar will do well if it's not a trophy one, so I definitely would like to get both. So he's right there, and I think I just saw that Jax found something, but let's see. That's much better. Alright, um, I... I think the dog is programmed to come running to you when you take a shot, so... Or... Is... The next track here? No, that's a different track, so... We're not gonna get on that. I did actually go ahead and leave a waypoint over in that direction where the dog was standing. So, that might allow us to get back on the bison track more quickly, but... This cougar, I think, is gonna do good for credits or a new trophy. Ooh, and it is a mature one. Hard shot and everything. So, that is... Actually a new trophy. On our hunt mainly to actually just get money but let's see then if we can get on that bison because now the cougar is not helping us as far as credits go i can't believe that we actually found it he's walking back our way so the dog found something but i want to get him to just sit still here so we'll have him stay and then we're just going to kind of wander out towards maybe that area and see if we end up getting close enough for a good shot, because we know this can end up going south, so I want to make sure we get a good clean hit on him. Alright, so the thing is, he's completely facing us. There's apparently an elk behind us, but I think... What about a headshot, though? I don't know why that never hit me on any other vice until just now. That makes way more sense, and... Saves on a lot of tracking, because they run far. But, actually, we'll get Jax over here to find him and get some extra drive and stuff. But, I can't believe that worked. So, that's actually just another young one as well. So, that's going to be all credits for us again. And, we're just going to have a bonus stash at this point. Because, I'm not really sure what else we need at the moment for that. Like, there's some colors and stuff we could go for, but... Right now, we're pretty well set, so we might head back and just kind of hunt towards the, I guess, campsite and probably just fast travel down, because we've actually done pretty well today. So actually, we do have a decent elk out there. I think, again, that's not like the biggest rack for them. It's also a pronghorn, which we might be able to scoot up here and get eyes on as well. Stay and don't make a sound. By the way, you've probably noticed that I'm using the scope still to like kind of scan around it's because I completely forgot to actually equip the binoculars which would have been a good idea but that's definitely a really small elk I don't think that's the biggest rack but unfortunately 
the way the terrain is here, I'm not sure we're going to get eyes on that pronghorn. But if the elk's not a really big one, it's going to be worth a lot of credit. So I guess since this is kind of a hunt to get a bunch of them, that'll be good. I don't really need to be prone for this, but I just thought it looked really cool just being at the edge up here and going for a shot on an elk. But yeah, I think they get bigger. Went for a hard shot and didn't quite get it, but I think he was about to spook, so good timing on that shot. And no sign of any fleeing pronghorn, so I mean, that's kind of the direction we got to go for the campsite. That little guy is coming over here, too. I mean, I think we didn't kill an elk the first hunt, so this is actually going to complete our elk license anyway, and we can't shoot him. But I would have gotten him for credits otherwise. All right, so... That's just an adult elk, so definitely going to be one for credits and definitely not the big rack. But yeah, that does complete our license. We have a little further towards that campsite, so we'll take our time just in case that pronghorn shows up. But that may well be our last kill. So I thought I'd come up here to the edge where I could see, and at least I'm assuming that's the same one. And he's definitely just a little guy, but extra bonus credits for the end of the hunt. But that should be our official last kill of this hunt. Little young pronghorn, and now we'll head back to the campsite. And I believe we're selling everything except for this first cougar, which, yeah, they're worth about 4,000 as well. I hadn't looked at that. And I'll need to remember that 35 score uh, for the spreadsheet. So if you haven't seen any of my videos on these so far, I'm keeping a spreadsheet of the best scores I get because you can't actually see the scores once you're in the lodge. And I just want to make sure we can keep like the biggest animals we shoot. But yeah, a hunt where we were pretty much just setting out to get credits, and we got a ton, but we also got a nice little trophy for kind of the other side of the fireplace. We got our brown bear last time, now we have the cougar here, but really quickly, there's nothing I really feel I need to buy at the moment, but I want to see. We're at 10,000 credits again, so like, we are set to buy all of our licenses for Colorado next time, and any equipment that we're going to need, and before I end this video... Or before I close the game, I guess, I'll actually go and equip the gloves and the binoculars, which I forgot to get. But for now, I think we're going to wrap this up. Another really successful hunt in that Bandera region on Texas is so good. Like, I would recommend starting out there if you're getting into the game. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.